Good morning. Good to see you all today. Thank you. So tomorrow, starting tomorrow, I don't know if you all know this. Some of you know this. I know some of you know this. Starting tomorrow, we're having at the church here, at the hall next door, we're having our vacation Bible school. And we're going to be spending the week next week in the morning uh, doing some fun things together and learning some fun things together. So I hope you guys can come and participate. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about today. That was, that was a little commercial. The commercial before the beginning. So let's start. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sometimes, sometimes when it's, when I'm home, and uh, my wife and I would like to go for walks. Sometimes it's late when we go for our walk. I might come home late, or she might come home late, and it might be dark already when we want to go for a walk. And so my mom, my mom might say, take a flashlight with you. Now, why would my mother say, take a flashlight with you? Does that make any sense at all? So we can see, that's right, because it's dark out. She wants to make sure I can see, and probably that others can see me too. And so while we're walking, in the dark. So let's say I did that and I took a flashlight with me and I was wearing a backpack, let's say, and I didn't want to carry anything in my hand. So, so I put the flashlight in my backpack while we went for the walk. How would that be? Would that be, would that be good? Would that work? Would that do what we want? Yeah. No? Why not? Yeah. Okay, we have one yes and 19 no's. <laughs> Why wouldn't it work? Because it's sitting in my backpack and you can't see it. But what if I turned it on before I put it in my backpack? Then it'll waste the battery. Then I'll waste the battery. Because <laughs> it still won't work, right? It won't go through the backpack. I won't be able to see and people won't be able to see me. So, in the Gospel reading today that we heard from Matthew's Gospel, Jesus tells his apostles that they are lights, and that they are to shine God's light of love and goodness, kindness, healing. They're to shine God's light on other people. So other people can receive God's kindness and love and healing. And then Jesus tells them, you are the light of the world, but no one takes a light and puts it under a basket because then nobody would see the light. It's kind of like going for a walk and putting your light, your flashlight, in your backpack. So Jesus says, don't do that. The purpose of the light is to shine the light. He's telling the apostles he wants them to tell about Jesus' teachings. And his teachings are like a light that helps other people. Not to hide the light, but to shine the light. And it's true for us too. When we know Jesus' teachings, it's like a light for us. It helps us. But we don't want to keep it all to ourselves. We want to shine that light to others. We want others to be able to see God's light of love and kindness and healing. And so we don't hold it just to ourselves or hide it in a backpack. But we shine God's light by loving each other, by caring for each other and helping other people when they're struggling. This is our way of helping others to see so that in this world, you know what, in this world, too many people are bumping into each other, crashing into each other, hurting each other, 
because they don't have the light that Jesus is shining and wants us to shine. He wants us to shine that light. So that's what we all need to do if we're Christians. Not just hold it for, to ourselves, but shine that light so others can see it as well. By loving, by being kind, by being helpful to each other. Let's stand up for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh Lord, you tell us that we are lights in this world. We know that our light is the light that comes from you. Help us to shine your light in this world by loving each other, by showing kindness, by being helpful. We pray, Lord, that as we do this, we will fill our world with goodness and kindness and love. That is what you have called us to do. We give you glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now endeavor and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is in our midst.